Hello and welcome to this session on payloads and network communications. So in this session we're going to have a look at the actual payload which is transmitted from Maligno server to the client and we will see how we can encode it and different options that we have over there. So let me start as usual showing you the current configuration. So we are still using requests.xml as a profile and if we look at the contents of the profile we are going to focus on this specific area and also in two specific parameters which I didn't cover before that we have in the in the actual response and this is because they are very related to the payload and that's why I, I just felt that it was more natural to cover everything together so when it comes to the actual network the section here this is what's controlling everything related to the payload and how it's transmitted so we have the encoding at the moment we have, we have hexadecimal encoding but here you could use either base64 binary or hexadecimal just like I said the number of rounds that you want to use while encoding the block size, the padding character and the secret used by the cipher to encrypt the payload and then two specific options that we will have a look at that just in a moment so we are all set here let me close I have generated a client and it's already deployed so I am, in, I am just going to start Malik now and the MSF console as well So everything is ready. Let's open Wireshark. And we're good to go. So let's go to the victim, run the client, go back to the attacker. The request comes and our session is here. So let's have a look at the communications. So if we see here, we have our uh, the actual request coming from the client and then the Maligno server just sending the payload. As you see, here we have the payload in hexadecimal encoding as expected and you should note here that we have a, a small sentence say, saying this should go at the beginning and here in the end we have this should go at the end these two specific sentences is something that I added to the profile using these two parameters here in the response the prefix and as you see this the contents are just provided before they get prepended to the payload and then the suffix on the response is this should go at the end which gets appended. So if you want to simulate or add other types of communications in addition to the actual payload this is where you should uh, include it in the profile. So let me remove these guys and then let's focus 
on these two options which is the get code mode so until now we've seen uh, the client just requesting once the the actual payload that we want to download from Maligno server and as you see everything is quite let's say quick and there is not not much traffic involved but how about if you have for example uh, network analysts or uh, you want to teach people network analysis and you want to use the tool for that matter well the get code mode it allows you to repeat the same request many different times uh, before the actual payload is in, injected into memory and run and then the session comes in into Metasploit. So let's say for example that we are going to um, let's say 25 times we want to repeat the same request 25 times so this is going to increase uh, the amount of traffic uh, that goes from the client to the server and so on and then each request instead of just sending a burst of requests I will delay each of them I will uh, throttle them let's say one per second I am going to save the request .xml file the, the profile let me generate a new client Let's start Maligno in the meantime. This should be working, I guess. Mm -hmm. So we leave the handler over there and then let's just deploy the new client okay let's go to the victim here it is everything should be all ready so let's get let's get started so first of all Wireshark in place run the payload And just in a moment, we should get the action over here. As you see, there are many requests coming in. Note here the timing, the seconds. You see it changing? That's one request per second, just like we said before. And the actual traffic is just flowing. As soon as the last request comes, comes in, then the session will just okay there it is so let me stop and here you see how everything goes request response request response request response and so on and if you focus on the actual conversation this is now not using any prefix or suffix before the payload and it's using uh, hexadecimal uh, encoding just like we define in the profile so let's have a look at another one this time Let's just remove the get cut mode. And let's focus, for example, on binary encoding so you see the difference. Once again, new profile, 
start my link now keep in mind that when you have many different clients uh, this is something that well as long as you have uh, the, the common settings uh, you don't have to generate all the time it's just in when you change the um, the configurations for both either the client or the or the server Let's get our client here in place. Wireshark. And we are good to go. Okay, here it is. Session. Let's stop. Let's have a look at what it came here. And as you see now, the contents of the payload is, well, as you see, not the same as before. It's not hexadecimal, it's actually binary. Wireshark is showing characters. So as you see, we have the flexibility when it comes to the encoding. Just like I said, base 64, hexadecimal, or uh, binary. So well, this is what I planned for this video. I hope that you understood and you saw more in details how the actual payload can be configured and how it works. Thanks for watching.